First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. What's in the box? Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So <laughs> they ask that we judge her. Unusual, but still serious. Yes. There is worth and weight in every judgment, no matter how unusual. I love it. We're just like they just shows us looking at the box. <laughs> that was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to. <sighs> Forgive me. There is an odor. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, there's a precedent. Yeah. Strangely enough, something similar happened to an uncle of Emperor Leandra II. His trade routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Thank you for making it swiftly. You can also have her be an agent. <laughs> She's just a table. <laughs> Wait, she's a table? It's kind of like a joke thing. You can choose to make her an agent of the Inquisition, even though she's a dead body. <laughs> oh no! And like her skull or something. Wait, How they make racing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. Uh, at least they weren't bored. No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. They've already begun composing songs about it in Val Royale, no doubt. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. Did Selene know? The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Felt a little out of place. I kept dreading I'd drop the wrong spoon or step on a general's foot. Well done. Feuds that spanned ages have sparked over less. Really? Inquisitor never underestimates the enmity of those for whom outrage is a sport. All right. I feel like as adorable as Josephine is, it kind of drives me like in her and Liliana, like the obsession that they have with the game. It's like I it's annoying. Yeah, because it's like I hate that world, but I like you. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. Aw, oh, come on. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but you won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would do no less for you, after all. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other wyverns sometimes are. It is far more deadly. 
In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll help you, yeah. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. the other side of the wall. Uh, it's really annoying. <laughs> Come on, Vivian, let's go kill that thing. <laughs> Sarah's tarot card right now, she's like, crazy pants! If you uh, romance her, her like little tarot card looks totally kind of cute in this like very raunchy way. She's really? like, hey! La, la, la. <laughs> 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 she's laying upside down, looking in with her bow, being like, Psh! What's up? <laughs> <gasps> Yay! I told you. I'm Pinch Ashley Taka from Pinch is Not Okay. I got it because they said this is one of the mounts of the ancient Arlapan, and I was like, that seems fitting. I'm Dalish. Let's go. Hell yeah! These levels are so big. I like can't get over it. <laughs> I know it's so much better than like before where I was like oh, here it is Hello Snowy River I got you that outfit. Damn, it looks good. Look at this. Stop moving. I need to look at you. Yeah. Holy shit. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, it's like that noise that Tina makes on Bob's Burgers. Uh, uh, Tina's me when I was a teenager. Like, that's so real. I can't even deal with it. <laughs> it's so real. Erotic <laughs> friend fiction. Yes. Yeah, so embarrassing. <laughs> When I watch it, I'm like, you're me. What can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? You were there! If you want the wyvern's heart, you'll have to tell me what you're using it for. I can do better, darling. Give me the heart, and I'll show you what it's for. Will that suffice? Very well. All right. One heart. As requested. How kind of you. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend, and I would like you to come with me. Okay. Oh, we're, we're just going. Oh, we're just gonna go then. Okay. If you don't bring her with you, you can actually lie to her and say, Oh, this is the Wyvern Heart, but it's not. Really? Yeah, you can give her some other... Maybe it's because I didn't kill any other creatures, but if you kill other ones, you can lie and say, Oh, here it is. When it's not. But does it fuck it up? I don't know. I never lied to her. Because I'm not a liar, AJ. Because I'm not a fucking liar. That's why. Stacy, how would I know? I'm not a fucking liar. <laughs> this should only take a moment, Inquisitor. Oh, I'm glad I got you that outfit. You look great. 
Oh, what's this? Wow. I'm here, my darling. Darling, Bastien? Vivian, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. Wait, so she gives him the thing and he dies? I think she either tried to save him or she was she killed him because he was in pain. I'm not sure. Uh. But either way, oh, and you know what? Maybe she was trying to heal him and that's why she was upset that he was dead. At the end of your, wouldn't it be weird if they showed you stats at the end of your life? They're like, you spent this many hours taking a shit. You spent this many hours sleeping. And you're like, shut up, God. Get out of my face. And you spent this many hours staring at video game loading screens. And I'm like, no regrets, because I got to see naked people. Would you like to submit feedback to oh. Bioware? <laughs> <laughs> Bastion is dead. I can hardly believe. It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Love at first sight. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I... I must write to his son Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. Jump. Did you need something, darling? Okay, bye. Let's not uh, jump. If we Jump. Doesn't Did you need me. something, darling? Ah. <laughs> ah! We did it! <laughs> it's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Good. Let's hope for deserters. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. So, like... Like, excited about this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Hello. Fortunately, I can assist. So you're still sporting the same outfit, huh? Do you have any, like, you know... Uh, well, I wonder how many outfits, like, the average person had. Yeah, but I has... think ten years is kind of a long time. She's magic. 
Oh um, yeah, maybe she'd magic the clothes. Yeah. And she was like She's prob she probably walks around naked all the time. <laughs> she just magics her clothes on. She was probably like, oh, I gotta see people today. Hold on, let me just put my clothes on. I hate this. But like why would she you know, why would she actually have clothes and she could just like put like a, a deception thing so that everybody else sees clothes. I think you're putting some like really good like um lore in there. Like <laughs> <laughs> she comes to the maid circle and she goes, guys, you don't, you know you don't really actually have to wear clothes, right? And they're like, right? what are you talking you about? You can just put up a deception spell so everybody, like, sees something great. And then you can just pick one person who doesn't see it and totally fuck with them. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, what are you looking at? And they're like, nothing. <laughs> and everybody else thinks you're wearing clothes, so if they ask anybody about it, they'll think they're nuts. It's so funny. <laughs> and if you think a guy's hot and you do it just for like a second, they're like, oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on? And you look at them like, I know that you know, but you can't tell anyone. God, real life is so boring. <laughs> Please continue. Yes. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. Oh, yes? What is that? You're so mysterious, Morgan. I know. Wait, hold on. I wanted to do something else, guys. <laughs> wait, I, <laughs> wait. I wanted to do something else. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Oh, so we're doing this now. Okay. Okay. I'll follow you anywhere. Let's just go into the mystical mirror. Don't question it. Didn't tell anybody where I was going. Sounds safe. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. It's incredible. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What do, what She's do She's referring to the Witch Hunt DLC from Origins. Ah. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> if they'd only back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time. 
one cannot remain in between forever. I don't know what happens to people who have romance Morrigan, because in the Witch Hunt DLC, you can go into the Alluvian with Morrigan together. Mm hmm. So, I don't know. Does anybody. If you guys romance Morrigan in Dragon Age Origins and went into the Alluvian with her, let me know what happened. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Alluvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Open town. With a key. Oh my god, Alistair is a, a Grey Warden. Is he getting the calling from Corypheus? I don't know. I just thought about that. <laughs> You're like, oh no! <laughs> I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often Aww. that is enough. So, I don't understand. No, no, we're not saying that. Corypheus wants this? Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Oh, don't just hang out behind. You don't know what's gonna happen without Morgan. I know. <laughs> like, I would be right on her ass. Like, where are we going? Where are we going? Holding onto her as if I'm in a haunted house. Yeah, like holding hands, like <laughs> through the mirror. Like, we have to make sure we go to the same place. I'm scared. Why are you not scared? She's like, ugh. You tis a s idiot. I'm like, I don't know how to say what she says. Elven God and Druil. One day, Andruil grew tired of hunting mortal men and beasts. She began stalking the Forgotten Ones, wicked things that thrive in the abyss. Yet even a god should not linger there, and each time she entered the void, Andruil suffered longer and longer periods of madness after returning. Andruil put on armor made of the void, and all forgot her true face. She made weapons of darkness, and plague ate her lands. She howled things meant to be forgotten, and the other gods became fearful and Drula would hunt them in turn. So Mithal spread rumors of monstrous creatures and took the form of a great serpent, waiting for Andruil at the base of a mountain. When Andruil came, Mithal sprang on the hunter. They fought for three days and nights, Andruil slashing deep gouges into the serpent's hide. But Mithal's magic sapped Andruil's strength and stole her knowledge of how to find the void. After this, the great hunter could never make her way back to the abyss, and peace returned. Translated from Ancient Elven found in the Arbor Wilds. Source unverified. 